Alfalfa is the second most water-intensive crop in California, but it is a highly resilient crop during drought periods and has a high level of water use efficiency. My name is Ken and Michael, and I am the president of Bowles Farming Company, which is my family's farming operation here in the Central Valley of uh, California. I'm actually the sixth generation of my family to farm here in the Central Valley. My great-great-great-grandfather came here in the 1850s, and uh, we've been farming here ever since. Like all other California farms, the recent drought significantly impacted Cannon's farm. But uh, we lost, you know, about a third of the production of what this farm could have done, which was difficult. It eliminated a lot of labor that, that we had. You know, a lot of our people had to go home. It was, it was a big loss for, for our area. It was a big loss for the state. And, uh, you know, we're, we're glad to have a better water year this year. And hopefully going forward, we can have a more stable water supply. So we're in the middle of an alfalfa field here. Uh, alfalfa is one of the, the many uh, crops that we grow. And there's a lot of misunderstandings, I think, about alfalfa as a crop. Uh, it, it does take water to grow it, just as with anything, but we get multiple harvests of it every year. So for the water that we actually apply, we get an awful lot of biomass uh, from every cutting. Alfalfa is a highly resilient crop during drought periods. Part of it is due to its deep root structure that can tap into groundwater when needed. Because of this root structure and long growing period, it doesn't have to be watered regularly compared to other crops like tomatoes. It actually was a very valuable crop for us to have in terms of being able to have flexibility. We were able to stretch the alfalfa crops a little bit further or sometimes not water them for more than 60, 70 days. So being able to have that flexibility helped us manage our water that we did have available so that we could be more flexible and move it around to different crops at different times. University of California Cooperative Extension Specialist Dan Putnam consulted with Cannon and shared his expertise on irrigation techniques for alfalfa. Okay, so alfalfa is a crop that, that's actually, I would call it almost the best crop you can have in a, in a drought. And, and so this is one of the things that we've been researching really for the last 10 or 15 years at the University of California. We have data from the Central Valley, from the Intermountain area, the low deserts of California that shows that partial season irrigations are successful. It, it lowers the yields, but it also lowers the water footprint so that farmer is able to get partial season uh, returns during a drought period where the water is short. So this is, this is one of the reasons we think that alfalfa is actually one of those crops that uh, is pretty resilient during the drought. Bulls Farming here has done a lot of really innovative things. They've uh, looked at drip irrigation, they've looked at different methods of applying water so that it can be more judiciously uh, applied. Cannon uses flood irrigation on his alfalfa fields, but is converting them to drip irrigation for better control and to help produce higher yields. So here we have one of our main irrigation canals that's bringing uh, the water uh, to us. Uh, Traditionally, we'd been a flood irrigated farm where, uh, where most of this water would have been dispersed by a flood irrigation, which would be siphon pipes and sort of manual, a lot of manual labor. Uh, we've transitioned over the past few years to, uh, to install quite a bit of uh, drip irrigation. What you see here to, the, to this side is uh, the filter stations, and then uh, we've got uh, tanks there that can handle different types of, of nutrient product, fertilizers, and, and other things that can help us uh, grow the crop. It's been a very uh, positive story for us and uh, helped us grow better crops and with a lot less water. For more information, go to this University of California Drought Tips webpage.